This is a part two of the repair video. So now I'll be taking the uh, valve cover off, both passenger side and driver side. So then I've already taken off all the clips for injectors and uh, all those uh, ignition coils slash plug caps. So a bunch of bolts, lots of mostly. There are bolts and there are two nuts on each side. And there are three long, long bolts in the middle. With the uh, rubber washer that uh, you're gonna have to replace when you put it back on. Okay, and these valve cover seals, so you're gonna need a new one. This is what it looks like. So, like, and the engine's set right now at the uh, uh, top dead center. So, all the timing marks should be lined up for the most part. So, this is the driver side. It's kind of hard to see. So, the valve covers off now. Then, I'll be working on the. Uh, uh, there's thermostat housing and oil filter housing, water pump, etc. And then followed by a uh, timing cover at the end. There are lots, still lots of coolant coming out, so I just used the, um, you need a big bucket underneath it. And what I did was uh, one of those uh, plastic drawer from Walmart. Uh, I just had that underneath the car so everything drains into it. And this o-ring at the thermostat housing, that needs to be replaced as well. off at the water pump. Uh, there are quite a few so it's best to be organized than not. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, it's not very complicated but um, there are some are 10 mil and some are 12 mil uh, hex bolt and uh, yeah, like I would, I would, unless you're really familiar with it, I will just make sure to be, to organize the bolts for sure. So I left all those bolts at the same spot where it came from. Okay, now the oil filter housing. And still there's enough uh, motor oil coming out when you take this off. So have a little bucket underneath it. Just let it drain. And 
there's an ore in there too also. And then I'll be removing the uh, uh, what is that? BVTI oil control valve. There are two on each side, driver side and passenger side. So that needs to come off. And then there's also BVTI uh, position sensor at the front. So I'll take that off too. And I don't know if it makes any difference if you end up swapping the left and right, but just to be safe, I just kept everything on both sides. So whatever came off of well, passenger side went back in on the passenger side and whatever. The same thing for the driver's side. Just in case. Yeah, they need to come off for you to uh, take the timing cover off because they are in the way. too many so have them organized and there are four points to uh, break the seal at the timing cover so it's kind of hard to see so I attached a screenshot of it for you to see so there are two at the top uh, both passengers and passenger driver side and two at the bottom like as you can see in the uh, diagram there so bottom portion, like it's, uh, I found it uh, easier to access it from underneath the car to break the seal. And then once that's done, you can kind of gently pull it away like that. You have to work it, you know, a little bit at a time, all the way around one, four spots. Take your time. And then that's what it looks like. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Okay, so now this is gonna uh, continue to the part three. Okay. 